think abortion should be legalized in the country today? Hi, I am Anita and you are watching Girls Just a Normal for Life. I know this conversation is a difficult one because when people hear the word abortion, they automatically connect it to everything negative like murder and inhumanity. Come with me, let's go and ask the people of Lagos, Nigeria if they think abortion should be legalized in the country. Let's go. For many years, the question of whether abortion should be legalized in Nigeria has sparked heated debate amongst many people. While some people believe abortion is a sin against God and practically murder, others believe that it is a personal choice and whatever they do with their bodies should be their decision and not the state's. No, I don't support it. What's your reason? Well, my reason is that, uh, well, God, if I'm to go religious, God does not uh, approve of it as it were. Again, God does not make mistake. If you and I have been aborted, we won't be here. Um, it's a bad idea. I w we should not even consider it from onset. You're aborting a child, you are wasting a life, you are killing a life. It's just like you are murdering, you are killing someone. Meanwhile, a life will come and impact and, uh, and make impact and make changes to the, to the world. You are, you are not making that child come to the world to survive. Abortion should be legalized if the fetus and the body of the woman is in such a situation whereby it could take the life of the mother. In that respect, experienced doctors and those who do health care in that respect can remove it so that the mother will live. Abortion should not be legalized. From the religious viewpoint, cutting across all religions, major religions, okay? God said, Increase and multiply. Are you seeing that? Yes. So that injunction from God that we should increase and multiply should not be relegated, should not be overlooked. You understand? Yes. So this is the way I give you my answer. Abortion should not be legalized in the country because it will encourage immoralities and at the same time encourage people to engage in sexual scandal. Other way around, there are certain aspects we consider as to whether um, abortion should be legalized in Nigeria. For instance, a lady who is got pregnant by people from that world ought not to keep that child because of traumatization. And at the same time, when we talk about people under age who doesn't know about sexual education and conceive it ought to be terminated but that shouldn't be intentional in such a way that you encourage um, abortion in all our society in spite of the fact that many people have claimed abortion has certain negative health effects it is crucial to understand that eliminating this objection by making it legal could make all the difference many things might, might go damaged at the process Probably they might use um, equipment that is not proper, properly steri um, sterilized. And at the end of the day, it gives them one issue or the other. It gives them like one lungs or the other in their private part. I, I remember someone was having that issue before. And at, at the same time, along the process, it could damage their womb, um, the female, the, the female womb, um, their womb, rather. Yes, it, it, will, it can damage our womb. So there are a lot of things along the process that abortion can damage. So from the beginning, it's a no, no, for me, it's a capital no. I know how embarrassing it can look like. Um, I'm, I'm still young and I have the pregnancy, my bones are up and everything. But the stigma is just for a while. If the person can go through the stigma and make the child come back to life, the child might even make you proud. The child can make you go places. The child can take you higher. So why not try and face the stigma instead of just being a mother because of what people will say? With every choice in life, there is a decision and consequence that must follow. Whether abortion is based solely on the woman's individual decision or the decision of both parties concerned, legalizing it clearly will not mean that every woman will be forced to do so. But it should allow for the preservation of those women whose lives are in danger due to the complications in pregnancy that can be corrected through abortion to seek medical recourse.
pro-life or pro-choice? You've probably heard these words at least once in your life. While pro-life focuses on saving the babies, the other pro-choice focuses on advocating for women's rights, giving women the right to be able to terminate a baby that they do not want. I want to know your thoughts in the comments. Are you pro-life or you are pro-choice? I am still Anita and you are watching Girls Just on Noah for Life.